Hey everyone, it's Saturday the 23rd of uh, September and it's now 5.45 in the evening. Today's video, well, I've picked up another box of diecast cars from the diecast guy. Um, no big models, little models, complete models, incomplete models. There's all sorts in this box, literally. So. We'll have a look through this. I've also got some brand new models to um, show you. From Majorette. I'm not sure what was going on there with my YouTube. I think one of these packs of cars was leaning on the button. Anyway, yeah, it's been quite a long time since any store here in North Walsham has actually uh, stocked Majorette toy cars. Um, if I remember rightly, even back in the 1990s, which was actually the last time I'd seen any stocked in any store around here, um, in this town that is, they were still a little bit more pricey than like your Matchbox and your Hot Wheels. Um, I mean, these are actually £3 a piece now. So we'll have a look at those first, and then we'll have a look at the box. And then I'm going to show you what I've been up to just over there, where my lounge TV and everything was. Because uh, I've been having a bit of a sort out with the display and a bit of a rearrangement over there. And it might still get rearranged, because there's some other models I've got in the bedroom that I want to get on display. So it's still subject to change. Anyway, let's have a look at these major apps. So I've got ten in total over the past sort of, couple of weeks and I noticed that Sainsbury's had them on the shelf so first up we have a Volkswagen Golf Mark 1 that's a good shot a Toyota 2000 GT one of the reasons I actually really like Majorette cars is because they're real good quality and they do make very nice mini replicas pardon me so this one is a Volkswagen Golf I'm assuming they're Roman numerals V11 or VII which would be 7 so I'm assuming that's a Mark 7 Golf GTI yeah with an opening boot lid I still haven't figured out why we call it a boot here in the UK to me a trunk makes so much more sense you store stuff in your trunk. What do you do in the back of the car? You store stuff. That makes sense. What do you do with the boot? You put your foot in it. You don't put your foot in the back of a car, do you? <laughs> anyway, moving on, we have a Renault 5 Turbo. I do find Majorette does a lot of French cars, but Majorette is actually a French company, so that makes sense as well. It's a bit like um, Siku. They do a lot of German cars but Siku is a German company so right what we got here a Mitsubishi ASX and yes these will all be opened because I'm that much of a hoodlum <laughs> Volkswagen Rally Kaffa or Kaffa it's German and I don't know how to pronounce that but I think we all know who that is well if you're my age, you'd probably know who that is. That's Herbie. There is only one Beetle I know with those racing stripes and a 53 on it. <laughs> so, yeah, that one I had to grab. Right, what we got here? We've got a Volkswagen T1 camper. Is that a split screen? Oh, it is a split screen. two different campers. I've got a T3 which you'll see in a minute. Toyota Celica GT Coupe or Celica which is how I've heard many Americans pronounce it as Celica. I prefer Celica myself. But fun fact I actually prefer aluminum to aluminium because to me aluminum rolls off the tongue a lot better it's a lot easier to say. Anyway, next up, Dodge um, Viper SRT. Not keen on the shade of green it's in, but I do like the Dodge Viper. 
it was going to have like a more modern um, muscle car that would be one of my options I've seen reviews of them online and they, uh, they don't have much room in it in them so there's a whole um, collection of Volkswagens to get so I've noticed this one is actually in a different coloured um, box as well but there's the T3 I quite like the T3s I have seen one of these catch fire <coughs> here in town uh, about seven, eight, no, maybe nine years ago. It did come up in my uh, memories on Facebook, wherever that tab is. Anyway, that's the majorettes I've got. Um, I will say though, I do prefer the older ones. It's just something about the older majorettes that I really, really love, and I cannot resist. Whatever condition they're in, I just cannot resist but buying them. Uh, I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with the new ones. I have got a couple of new ones. I just really, really adore the older ones. Right. Let me look at this box. I've no idea how many is in there. But, uh, it was 30 quid for the box and there's at least 30 vehicles in there so I think that's worth it. So, where to start? Um, there is a lot of sort of, what I would say, spares, repairs stuff because it has got tyres missing or a door missing or something like that. But like this um, transport of the ramp is still in there but the door's missing. We are missing two tyres at the front. Now I've got one of these on display, all complete. Probably in about the same condition paint-wise as well. So, what I'm going to do, any large models like this that I don't want because I've already got them, will go on eBay as a job lot. I may or may not take the tyres off first. I haven't decided because it is very, very handy to keep tyres. Um... What I might actually have to do is have a look through my collection and see if I've got any vehicles that need the tyres. If they haven't, then I'll probably just leave them on because there won't be no point keeping them. Anyway, next up we've got a nice refuse truck here. I've got this already with tyres. I had to find the tyres up. Basically just buying incomplete models like this, which already had tyres missing to make them up. But I got there, so I do have a complete one. That's... That's not on the shelf, that's in the box. So that one will go on eBay, that's two. This one will be the third one. Little um, fire truck. I do like the fire trucks, but I've already got one on display. And the ladder is busted on this one. That one I, that one I would probably leave the tyres on because it is complete. I think that would be daft to actually take them off. But the ones where they've got tyres missing, I'll probably just steal them off of them. Next up, we have got a big old crane. I've already got this one. This is only missing the hook. If you could find or make a hook for that, then you'll have a complete crane, because all the uh, tyres are there. But as I've already got it, and I'm actually looking at it, <laughs> it's over there on the uh, display, uh, that one could go on eBay as well, so that's four. <coughs> I actually don't know whether to do those as a job lot or to do them individually. But perhaps I should do the fire engine and the crane together as they are virtually complete. Well, the crane is missing the hook and the fire engine has got the damaged ladder. Other than that, they are complete. Now, I'm actually glad to have this. It's a shame, as I don't think the... Um, um, cab for this is in there but oh actually I've just realized I've got a cab that would fit it anyway I think it's a corgi cab but corgi and husky are virtually the same thing right, yeah so that is a definite keeper that one this is also a keeper I'm going to try and find a gate for that dumper now I've got the little version of this I've got a few of them now actually One's actually um, was restored by my stepdad. Oh, 
We need a pin to go in the back there as well, from the looks of it. I was just making sure that that hasn't broken and that does just need an axle, yeah. So it needs a bit of repair. I'm sure I could make a pin to go in there from something like a hairpin or something. Glue the wheels or the tyres on, but all four tyres are there. Why you with that pin out of there, that would make restoring this a lot easier. <laughs> if I wanted to. Yeah, that was a keeper. What's this? This has got to be a dinky. Yep. Oh, bent up steering wheel on it though. What is it? A motor car. A dinky motor car. So this is probably one of the oldest dinkies that I've got now. I've actually got this as well. This is one of the reasons I actually wanted this box because I saw that as well. The old dinky forklift. Needs tyres. Both the front tyres are missing, but other than that, it does work. The driver's not damaged and is present. You'll find when you've got figures like that on models, they need to go missing or the head gets cut off. Pardon me. I think this is a matchbox tractor. Uh, where's my magnifying glass? I might actually have to use the other one. I don't remember where it is. Yep, it is a Lesney and it is a Fordson. Axles look a little bit bent, but I should be able to straighten them up. Four tyres. If I can find them. <laughs> that's, the, that's the key point, if you can find them. Oh, hello. Is that a bit of a bridge machinery? I've got another th implement there. Is this something? I'm trying to dazzle myself with the LED light. Something written on the drawbar. Made in Great Britain. Yeah, I'm guessing that is Britain's. Certainly looks like a Britain's farming implement. And that's good. That can go with all my other tractors and things. No, it does look like we are missing some harrow blades off the back there. We've only got the front set. Yep, this is Britain's as well. That was love me end. Um, so it's like just a, a planter or a seed drill. It's nice. A couple of uh, implements. A little like we might have a Britain's cow in here as well. No. We've got a bit of a. He's got three broken legs, unfortunately. Sorry, Bessie, we're going to have to put you down. Um, do you know? Because <laughs> I don't. Ooh, found something else from Britain's as well. We've got a um, toolbox thingy for the back of a tractor. That's the second one I've got now. There is a proper name for that, and I cannot remember um, right now what it is. I have no idea what that is. That's probably part of an implement. Do I spy a little corgi truck in there, or a large corgi truck, I should say? Oh look, another one. <laughs> I must have at least a half a dozen of these blue transporters now. And I'm pretty certain I have got a couple of spare cams as well. But I do like to keep them, because I've got loads of car transporters that I've put out on display and I've put cars on them. I've got a spare one up there that's empty. Okay, I've got a tractor. I've actually got another one of these which also has two tires missing. So maybe I could make a complete one out of the two. In fact, I think the other one might have busted front wheels as well. But I do like these. I, just, I keep them every time I come across them. This one's a definite keeper because I've not got one 
in these colours. But I don't think I've seen one in these colours. Um, apart from what I've seen posted on a couple of uh, the Facebook groups I'm on, they do seem to be quite a rare version of it, so I'm happy that one there. Well, that one I'm going to keep. I'm going to see if I can find some tyres. I have got some spare tyres. This one is missing one, two, this one's missing four. Maybe we're going to steal them off of one of the other ones. But yeah, that is an older version to this, which is actually complete. And in better condition than my other one, actually. Swap time. <laughs> I've got so many of these trailers that I'm missing that bloody hook bit in there. That's what I need. And I didn't realise it was actually plastic. So maybe I could fabricate something. So that one I'm going to keep. That one I'm going to keep because I haven't got it. The other purple one I'm going to keep because I'm going to change it. I think I've already got the US Army one, but because Huskies are actually quite difficult to get hold of, I tend to keep them. Although the box that I put them in is getting quite full, so I might have to uh, alleviate some. Oh man. What are you missing? My voice cracked for some reason. Um, who is it made by? Is it a model of yesterday? Yes, it is. Showman's engine, but we're missing a wheel. Oh, that's a shame. I can't see it in here at the minute, that'd be a shame. I bet all the spokes snapped anyway because the hub is still on there. Got Mercedes here. Is that Dinky or Corgi? Corgi. It's uh, only got the one tyre. At the rate I'm going, I'm going to need to start a separate scrapyard for the larger scale models. <laughs> um, I've never seen this one before. I didn't know that was in there. It's a matchbox. Don't ask me what it is because I haven't got a clue. It's got twin engines in it, twin V8s. Matchbox Super Kings. Bandolero. That's what that is, a bandolero. I actually quite like it. They really were thinking futuristic in the 70s, weren't they? Probably what they thought we'd be driving around in now. Those wheels. I'm loving the uh, makeshift tow hook on this one, but it actually works, so maybe that's what I need to do with the others. Is this a matchbox? I think it is. No, it's a corgi. Yeah, the tow hook broke, so they made one up using some um, stiff electric wire from the looks of it. Just a bit of old copper wire from a bit of cable. I have actually got a corgi tractor. don't think it goes with that trailer, but... It's a tractor. I think I've got that. I'm not sure. It is missing two tyres though. And I can see what look like three matchbox, four matchbox models of yesteryear. It'd be nice if they've got their tyres. Uh, that one's missing the seats. One of them are why. Yep. That one does actually look complete. I've got a number of these models of yesteryear from Matchbox now and I'm starting to get an interest in them. Not enough to actually, you know, like go on eBay or somewhere and buy them. That one's quite beat up, so I think that's just worth taking the tyres off of that one. Yeah, this windshield is all bent and 
all the interior is missing. This one looks it's full of dust, but it looks complete. Um, I think it's missing a canopy though. Or the roof or whatever they called it on these. And there's a sticker laid on the bottom of this where it says liftomatic. <laughs> liftomatic. Um, that's another reason I wanted the box. But I didn't actually realise that the uh, cab had a broken window, unfortunately. It's fixable. And we'll need uh, a new beacon and whatnot. That's a shame, though, because it's not in bad overall condition. I mean, I could just live without the beacon and just pop some super glue in there. You know, try and keep the window down like that, squirt some super glue in there, and then just let the window sit like that. I might do that actually. The beacon's not a big issue for me. Alright, we're still going. This is another one that I've actually got. Actually, I've got another two of these. So that's another one that's not needed. Um, I'll probably take the tires off of that and just stick that in my scrap box. Or just put it in the scrap box as it is, I'll know where the tyres are, should I need it? Hello. What has that fallen off of? That's quite... That's too big for that. It's too big for that as well. It's not going to be that. That's got all its tyres. My second one of these I've got. I think those tyres would actually fit a couple of the other vehicles, so. Yeah, it's a bit. a bit foobard, I think. I mean, a restorer could restore it because you could heat that up to bend it back. I wouldn't bend it back now because I'll probably snap it. As it's die cast metal. But, uh, so it's actually only missing one tyre. But I think these tyres will fit this, so... As that one's got a rather heavily damaged uh, body, let's just try it. Yeah, look. Number one there. It's another model I'm going to have to go around and glue the blinking tyres on. More. Try and steal one from the back double axle, double hub, double wheel, whatever you want to call it. There, right, that one's done. <laughs> that one can go in the uh, scrap pile, and I've still got this one. This is a large tyre, so I've no. I don't even think there's anything here that this came off of. Can up, and it's missing its front wheel, unfortunately. Little scab and scarab. Crescent toys. Never heard of Crescent Toys. That's a bit uh, on the uh, Kanakad side. Someone might want it. I'll try it on eBay. I'll chuck it in with a job lot. Ooh, hold on. Oh, it's too big for that as well. So what's this? Is this Corgi? Yep. Does it tip? Nope. So that is... Just a standard cattle tray with a broken tow hit. How do you break a tow bar like that? What else have we got? Oh. Paintwork's not bad, but we're missing the door. Always missing the door. Nice police, nice police minivan, but again, it's missing tyres and doors. It's missing the back doors. Bit of a shame. That one I've got several of, so that's another one I don't want. Same with that bulldozer. I've got a few of these in my box. I don't want that either. 
another old model of yesteryear with a busted rear wheel. Be another one. I'll just take the tires off and get rid of the rest. Now, has someone bloody glued that in place? Or has that corroded in place? Because I can't rotate that. That's actually stuck. Oh, no, it is turning. It is turning. So I haven't been glued. That is just corrosion. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. Oh, that is not nice. How difficult would it be to get these axles off, though? Don't. I might be able to grind that one off because you've got to grind the little nubs off on the ends of the axles to get them off. So I think I can make uh, restoring these a bit more trickier. Another Bedford CA van. Evening news is missing its billboard off the roof, but I still think that looks alright. And another one of these missing the beacon. I don't think I need any more of these. I have got a handful, so... Same with... Oh, this one's missing the bloody gun turret. And I'll just chuck that one in my scrap box as well. Use the axles off of it. Um, I've got to double check the collection, but I may actually have this one. I'm not 100%. Ah! This trailer is actually better than the one I've got on my shelf. Uh, you know the one on the shelf does have four tyres. This one has straight axles. <laughs> so I may swap the tyres. And here's something that's rare. Look at this. Albeit it's only got one track on it, so it can only go around in circles, but... <laughs> that is actually... A Ooh, that is a very brittle track, though. I don't want to touch that. What is this, a matchbox or a dinky? It was a dinky. Ooh. A dinky ship. Quite literally, a dinky ship. Ooh. Uh, like a gun in the back. Ooh, is it? Motor patrol boat. Made in England. Um, right. Two more items, and that is it. We have one of those. The yeah, plastic bit is broken, though, unfortunately. So I may actually prize that off because I do go missing on this. Oh, I forgot. Well, that one in here as well. Another one. That tire might actually fit that Unimog. And this is the second one of these I've got, but my other one actually has uh, four good wheels. It's not missing one. Anywho, that's the haul. <laughs> I'm actually going to take that and put in that pile because I don't want that one either. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to steal that tire and that can go over there. <laughs> no point leaving one tire on it. I'm going to keep that Mercedes for now. Definitely going to keep the Britain's farm implements. I don't know if that's even worth putting on eBay, is it? Don't know. Oh. They're going to have their tyres removed. They can go in a scrap box. I think the windshield has been broken on that one as well. Right, uh, I need to double check on that Ferrari. Because I really cannot remember if I've got that one on. That's being kept, that's being kept, that's being kept. So are those, so is that. Tires replaced on that. Keep those. And of course, we keep this. Hang on a minute. Oop. No. 
was wondering for a second there if that tyre I took off the race car would fit, but no, it won't. The bigger tyre. Yeah. I may actually have one of those in my box. I don't know about the back one though. Well, like I said, I've got another one of these kicking about through there somewhere. Um, that I could take the tyres from. I'm pretty certain it's got busted front wheels on it. This is all broken up anyway, so I might as well have the tyres for spares. I don't know if I'm going to get that one off. I'm going to get them off that one because I just broke a wheel. Maybe that's how that one got broke and someone tried to steal a wheel, uh, tire from it for another one. Right, so we've got a good half a dozen here for the, for the strip pile. No point having one tire on this one. Let's pull that off. Will that fit? Mm, no, it's a bit big. Wrong size. Too big for that one as well. Oh well, keep it in there as a spare. There's no point in just leaving one tire on. Right, there's a couple job lots there. Those tyres on that refuse truck don't look very good either. It looks a bit rough. Alright, I do believe I've got all the tyres on the tipper, haven't I? That's, yeah. Good. Right. So while we're still on a subject of diecasts and whatnot, this is what I've been up to. I've now got all of that top shelf there covered. I've actually dusted these uh, middle shelves. That one, that one, that one, that one, same on that end. And as you can see, I've got my boxed vanguards and some boxed corgis in there as well. And I've got an empty shelf. I'm saying, no, it's not an empty shelf, is it? It's got stuff on it. I've put my matchbox uh, carry case cases and trays in there. And I've just got some more vanguards right down the end here. I've also been sorting out my Lego instruction collection that I had because I had way too many. In fact, I had two boxes like the one that was on the floor there and one bigger one full and I actually threw out two full tubs the same size that's currently on the floor so far and I've got a half tub there ready to go as well so basically two and a half tubs of uh, Lego instruction manuals I've got rid of can I just download them from the internet uh, yeah Lego supplies the um, PDFs so you can download them if you prefer Ooh, I feel better. Well, while I've got your attention, um, I've got three doors for the flat. Um, and I was actually asked by my friend Kat, I think it was last night, um, when will there be another model railway update? Probably not for a little while yet. I don't want to... Uh, you know, get the railway layout down because a certain little white fluff ball who's uh, gone off to sleep somewhere, I'm not sure she's got a few favourite spots like underneath the sofa or behind the freezer um, yeah, she's um, actually caused some minor damage she's pulled a couple of the fences off on one corner and a couple of little shrubs so my plan was to get these doors up, they're over at Mum's, uh, 
maybe next weekend I'll see if my stepdad wants to uh, bring them over and we'll get them fitted. And I want to just cut that bench down that's in that bedroom as well. Ready. So I was going to do that, you know, while my stepdad was here with all his saws and things to do these, oh, do these doors. And then... Um, I can do updates on the model railway because I can keep the cats out. Because I don't really want to uh, spend time doing repairs for, like I said, that certain little white fluff ball, wherever she is, um, to just come along and pull them off again. Maybe I just need to uh, be a bit stricter with her. But I don't like giving them earache. You cannot be comfortable lying like that so much. I swear he's bigger than the bloody bed. Look, he's asleep on there. Yeah, I know there's cat litter on the floor. I spend every day vacuuming it up, and as soon as I vacuum it up, they come along and they kick it all over the place again. It's a uh, everlasting battle. Oh yeah, I've got that box there to post to my brother. Still haven't done that yet. I actually forgot about it till I now looked over there. Get out of it. Uh, I think that's about it. I don't think there's uh, anything else. That's all I've got at the minute. you want to uh, see me unbox. Pardon me. Let's pick a major out and unbox it. No. <laughs> That's the first one I picked up. I literally just picked up the closest one. That was upside down. So I just grabbed it. Uh oh. I've devalued it now. Not worth three quid anymore. Okay. There we go. Ah, so we get a little uh, info card as well. A lot of info on the back of it. Hopefully, it'll focus on it so you can pause it and read it. Cylinder, yep. Opposed. It's actually a quite a nice little model. How easy does that? I was going to say bonnet open but there's no engine under that so wouldn't that actually be the trunk or the front I think they call them. And I ain't got any fingernails to get under there and pull it up. Oh. It's got a plastic base. It's very popular for major out just like uh, Matchbox and uh, Hot Wheels to do a, a metal base on the cars as well. I'm guessing to try and uh, cut costs, so they've went over to plastic. Now I've got that bonnet shut now, now I can't get the damn thing open. There we go. I don't see that much on um, toy cars now. I suppose I deemed it a choking hazard. They do put them on the sort of like the collectible cars, I suppose, if you want to call them that. I mean, just for a toy that a kid's going to bash about, I don't think I'd want to spend three quid on it. I 
Trust me, I know what kids are like. I used to be one. <laughs> I used to do exactly the same thing. Right, I'm going to end the video here then. So thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, if you did and you did like the video, then give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, feel free to hit the uh, dislike button. And uh, as always, there will be links in the video description down below for uh, my other two YouTube channels. I've got a gaming channel and a Lego channel. And my Discord server. Feel free to come over and join us on there and have a chat and whatnot. And uh, finally, my Twitch channel. I still haven't got around to doing any live streams on. But I do want to. <laughs> Don't know if that's my own bloody fluff or cat fluff getting in the way. Probably both. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.